Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I've got another pretty quick video for you. I'm gonna be creating some hoop mail here. I know we've been kind of heavy on happy mail lately, but I've been getting ready for a swap, which I actually just finally mailed out today. Uh, so I've been working on these projects in order to get that mailed out before Christmas. Um, but we will jump back into some card making, hopefully starting tomorrow. Uh, so I am just going to get everything put together here. I've pulled out some pattern papers from the Crepe Paper Snowflake collection. And I just took my embroidery hoop. This is an 8 inch hoop. I laid that down on top of my paper, drew a circle around it, and then trimmed that out. Uh, now it's not a perfect circle, so once I have this glued down, I will take my scissors and just go around the outside edges to make sure that I've got that nice and clean. Um, but I'm starting out there just by adding a little glue at the top, doing just slightly less than half so that my glue doesn't dry on me. And that way I can get my circle positioned down the way that I would like it. Here you'll see once that dries, I will take my scissors and trim around the edges. Just making sure to get that nice and clean. And then I'm gonna add my top portion, which will create my pocket. And I can add all my goodies on the inside. Again, just placing a little bit of glue down in the center so I can get that positioned. And then I'll add a few more dots going along the sides to get that stuck down nice and tight. And there's my pocket. Again, I'll go around the outside just to trim off that little bit of excess. I wanted to add something around the edge of my hoop just to give this a little more decoration and also to make it uh, cover up any of those raw edges that are, may still be sticking out. So I have pulled in some of this greenery. I picked this up at Target last year. I do think they had it again this year. It's from the dollar spot. It's, it's a $3 bundle, but it, it's in the dollar spot section. That's where I got mine. So I'm gonna add this little by little here, just adding a little bit of my glue and then putting this down in place, holding that there until it dries. It is wired, so that does help with the shaping of it. And once I get back up to the top, I'm gonna wrap it around that little metal piece there just to help keep that extra secure. I'll trim that off. And then I'm gonna do one more layer of this, this time going around the front rather than the side of my hoop. And that'll just give a little bit more, you can see that greenery a little bit better that way. And it adds some great texture as well. So I'm going to finish adding this down. I will skip ahead here because you, you've got the picture at this point of how I'm doing this. So I have sped things up a little bit more once we get to the decorating. I'm going to, per usual, turn up the music and just let you enjoy the process part of the video. I will then be back at the end to show you all of the goodies that I placed inside.
So here is a close up look at the finished hoop. I really love all the textures. I think that flower at the bottom adds a lot of dimension. And I like to add some things on the back as well, just to, again, sort of give more of that dimension and also make the hoop still somewhat pretty even after all the goodies are taken out of it. So I'm gonna stuff this here. I've got some handmade envelopes that I've made, again, using more of the Snowflake collection. I'll just tuck those down inside. I've also got some poinsettia flowers. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. They're really nice. Again, they have a lot of great dimension. Um, so I'm adding two of those in here. I've got a paper bag I've added some blank tags into. And then I also created a washi share of all of that snowflake washi. Lastly, I've got a face mask that I picked up at Target. Add a little bit more red to the inside of my hoop here. I'm gonna slide that down along the back. And then I also grabbed one of my large gold paper clips and one of the chipboard pieces, just added some hot glue behind there, stuck that on top, and I'll add that along the front here. And that will complete the hoop. Here are a few close-ups of a finished project. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.